Hello there everyone, welcome back to Ants Authority. Today we will discuss about the topic why can ants not kill an art eater. In this video, we will discuss about this topic in detail. So let's start the video. Ants cannot kill an ant eater due to their bigger bodies, thick skin, protective fur, and quick attacks on colonies. Moreover, they have a long sticky tongue to eat the bulk of insect at once. However, they are not immune to ant bites and walk on knuckles to protect their feet against venomous bites. They avoid eating leaf cutters, bullets, and army ants due to the risk of aggressive attacks. These massive and heavier animals require bigger predators like pumas and jaguars, and smaller insects like ants cannot cause much harm to them. Ants and ant eaters are symbiotically associated with each other but are involved in a negative relationship. They have a parasitic relationship as giant ant eaters are deadly for ant colonies. These bigger animals primarily depend on ants and termites for their nutrition and consume thousands of these tiny insects at once to meet their daily energy requirements. Their sense of smell is amazingly strong as they can detect the presence of insects under the ground or are even able to distinguish different species to make a better choice. Insects can become a good source of nutrition for them as their muscular bodies are rich in proteins and other nutrients required for the survival for these giant creatures. They can consume almost 20,000 to 30,000 ants in a day as each insect is small enough to fulfill their requirements of food for a day. Moreover, it is easy for them to eat the smaller insects because they lack teeth to chew the bigger animals' bodies and break them into smaller parts. They use long and sticky tongues to lick these insects from the ground surface after locating their mounds on the ground. They can also consume smaller rocks or soil with ants to aid digestion. Ants can kill smaller invertebrates and small or large vertebrates that are several feet tall when they attack in large groups. These insects attack for two purposes, food or protection. They are smart and communicate with each other to collectively attack prey, which seems larger to attack and kill individually. They do not kill any organism which cannot be used as food. Ant eaters are deadly predators that can wipe out thousands of insects in less than a second by licking their mounts with a long tongue. Their tongues are almost 1.5 to 2 feet long and sticky saliva can help capture prey easily. It takes its tongue out of its mouth while staying at a distance from the mound and licking insect bodies. Their tongues are flexible and can be extended according to requirements. These allow giant animals to flick a bulk of insect back to their threat 130 to 150 times in only 50 to 60 seconds. Ant eater keep their mouth close to the ground to sniff the presence of colonies under the ground. It can differentiate species and choose to eat less poisonous and smaller insects. Moreover, it can lick the colonies or mounds more than 100 times in a minute and consumes thousands of insects in a short time. Their attacks are so quick for ants to detect a threat and respond as the soldiers in a colony take a minute to reach their feet or other sensitive parts of their bodies. However, it does not kill whole colonies to maintain a food source and leaves a few of them. This way, it can reach the old hunting site again to get more food when queens lay more eggs. They possess sharp claws commonly used in fighting with predators like jaguars but are also used to rip open the mounds of prey insects including termites and ants. The sharp claws can crush thousands of insects at once under their feet and are responsible for massive killing. They can tuck front claws into their palm and walk on their knuckles sometimes. Accordingly, they prefer to walk on the knuckles to avoid the exposure of feet to tiny ants when crawling on the ground closer to their mounds. It can be a defensive strategy of ant eaters to prevent insects from reaching soft feet as their wider feet can blow their mounds with only one paw. They have thick leathery skin covering their flesh, preventing ants from injecting stingers or biting their bodies. A layer of fur on their bodies restricts insects from causing harm. This grey colored coarse fur having black diagonal stripes can cover their neck and chest region. So this long fur works like a protective shield against insect attack. It is pretty risky to directly expose themselves to mounds filled with thousands of insects but they have to do so for nutrition and these protective layers help them in hunting ant mounds. Furthermore, they have giant bodies ranging between 5 to 8 feet which requires a large group of insects or whole colonies to kill them. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो